I can safely say, G'day, Ugs, because we are not in, uh, I was going to say we're not in Kansas anymore, to quote the film. No, we're not. We're, we're, in, we're in Hen, are we not in Hen? <laughs> we're but, not in, uh, Hen, we're in yeah. Aussie Farms. So, yeah, Streep, mate, g'day, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Yeah. How are you? It's um, it's a bit of a different uh, map, isn't it? Hox twenty three. It is a map. bit of Aussie farms. It is, it is a little bit different. So we thought, uh, you know, it's time for a change. It's time you came down under, and uh, we've gone a little bit of a walkabout. We have, and uh, you have got some very nice uh, location specific machinery as well, which is which is great to see. Yeah, some of the bits and pieces I've accumulated over the past couple of years uh, on Southern Cross farms and the like. So. We'll go around and have a look at that. We'll take a look at the fields we own. We've got a few fields. We're going to focus on uh, probably we've got some cotton harvesters, so we're going to do some cotton. Yep. Um, but maybe some peas and lentils are on the map, so have a look at those and maybe some of the other uh, location region specific crops. Sounds good. Now, I confess again that I did zero to help set this map up. Purely on timing this time rather than laziness. But I was in the state, so you've set everything up, so I'm going to let you do a tour of the farm i'll stroll around with you and we can uh, see what kit we've got and then we'll have a look at the fields and stuff yeah sounds good sounds good so i've basically got double of everything um we might as well start behind you because that's where all our tillage equipment is a couple of the uh the deep rippers there and then the single plow so uh depending on what we're doing do we want to cover lots of land in one go or uh, just a little bit the fields aren't too big i mean they're big but they're not hannah and deanna big that we're used to that's so right it's a standard a size map isn't it yeah it is it is so uh cool it's a little bit different it'll be different but we've got a few more fields too to deal with this time around we do we do indeed nice mm. nice tillage equipment yep yep uh we'll carry on looking this way here then um these are a couple of mods from uh i can't remember exactly who made them but they're from the aussie farms uh, modding group or aussie modding group or something like that but they are gold acres as a uh is a spray manufacturer in australia so we've got the self-propelled unit here cool uh, the G6, and then we've got a tow behind unit as well, sitting behind the 7R. So, both Very decent nice. size, with spray a decent amount of weeds when we get into it. So, that'll be a bit of fun. Good looking mods, I'm nice, running. I like them. Yeah, yeah, they're quite high poly counts, so hopefully they don't cause too many frame rate issues or anything like that. I haven't had a play with them yet, so looking forward to that. Very good, nice to see a John Deere here as well. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a mix of colours when we look at the combines and uh, the cotton modules soon, we'll see that they're both red everything else is green um just a couple of lime spreaders there we are using precision farming so we are going to have to deal with getting that ph level up a little bit at some stage yep i think we've got a bit of a track record now for uh, high yields on crops after hannah indiana so we can't let the people yeah, down we do. now yeah definitely do definitely do now these are our cotton planters i think that's the only thing we need row crop planters for um but we've got the 8R tractors here running the DB60 planters behind that, LR Modding's soon to be released planters. Beautiful. And, and the uh, Demco side tanks as well. Yeah, try and maximise our storage on the field so we don't have to fill up as much. Love it. That is a should nice setup, that. Should be good. It looks good, eh? I'm it does. Like it. Um, got a couple of bigger tractors over there. Get on over this way. Oh, yes. A couple of two track, two track challenges. And uh, nice wide tracks as well and they're set at three meters so. beautiful they are uh, big Just horses serious heavy lifting with those yeah should be able to be able to and then head on over behind the bins i replaced the bins this did have the uh two single bins with the um requiring augers and things i thought we'd simplify things a little bit and put the agi bin pack in there yeah so no that's fair be able to store a decent amount Pretty cool um these two mods are a couple of interesting little cultivators One's called a Cali Prickle Chain. Yeah, there is a is it a Cali Bar? A Diamond Harrow, sorry. Um, but these are interesting when you see them unfolded. They're big, wide. I think they're about sixty foot cultivators. Oh, I've seen these, and the and the uh, the actual cultivators go in a diamond shape around the outside, don't they? Yeah, they're that's right. They're a big diamond from sort of you know tip to tip, and then out to wings. Um, a little bit funky on the animations when you unfold them, but if you can look past that, what a cool little piece of kit. So. Yeah. We'll give those a try as well. Yeah, Again, I can't imagine the animation around. on that would have been easy to do. I understand probably no. why they've <laughs> tweaked it slightly to make it, it work. That's right. Yeah, but the um, you see the chain and everything, the actual droop and the uh, folded animation is actually pretty cool. Yeah, they've done well. Nice. Hmm. And then carrying on the Aussie theme over this side, a couple of Finch grain bins. Stayed away from the Coolermans because uh, they're pretty common and 
seen in Mod Hub, so yeah. I thought again another one that I picked up over my time and we used on uh, Southern Cross for a while. A couple of grain carts there, and then two different uh, air seeders. Um, they're both 60 foot wide, and I've kind of got them around the wrong way actually. The the front toolbar should probably be with the rear um, air cart. Okay. But the the front they're a um, what brand are they Hallwood Bagshaw. They are. So they're both 60 foot wide, and then obviously the green cart here's a simplicity cart and uh, then nice. this front one over here front tool bar is a Tobin disc drill so with the bullet look at the draw um, bar on that it's massive <laughs> it is massive it is massive so yeah so that's pretty much everything there's the trucks down the back if you want to go and have a look at those they're um, down out facing the field and then we'll just go check out the combines alright sounds good once we've had a look at this I suppose we can go and check out what fields we've got and uh, go and get some work done yeah Yep, no, it sounds like we've got a lot on our plate. We do, we do. Now you look like you dress to try and match the uh, trucks. They're all green and gold, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I tried, I tried. So three of the uh, K100s there. One's got the flatbed on the back with the seed tender yep. and uh, liquid ink next to it. So again, when we're working a little bit further away from the farm, we can take that with us. Love we've it. We've got a couple of semis there with the uh, biggie. Lizard end tip trailers off the mod hub. So. Yeah, these are nice. Again, something a little bit different. These are nice trailers. And a lovely, a lovely paint job on the trucks as well, Argus. You've uh, hmm. really gone for it with them. <laughs> Bit of fun putting it all together. Very nice. Yeah, and then the last uh, last deals, looking at the combines and the uh, cotton harvesters. So just the base game. i got two of those. The base base game case uh, cotton harvesters there and then the uh, custom modding nice with the Aussie flag on the side yeah one's got the Aussie flag and the other's uh, just the plain one there but I know you love jewels over tracks and in fact I think you'll like the back combine more because it's got your big LSWs on it oh yes well, I... well that, that was more yours and then uh, yeah a couple of 45 foot drapers beautiful that is a nice yeah. nice little setup Ox very nice indeed yeah it's uh, not a bad thing to inherit is it no, not at all, not at all. And if we jump to the map quickly, yeah, you can talk through that if you like. Yeah, so we've got um, we've got quite a few fields around uh, the map. So we've got the main farm where all the kit is, where we're standing just now, between field twenty and nineteen. So we've got eighteen, nineteen, and twenty-two to the right of that, and then down in the bottom left-hand corner, we've got uh, six, seven, and eight. And a little cluster there as well, which is quite nice. And then up in the top of the map, we have got 15 and 14 together. And then a little bit of an anomaly stuck right in the middle of the map there is field one. So lots of uh, lots of fields. Um, but as Arg said, not as many as, uh, or not as big as we had on Hannah, Indiana. So we should be able to get through them a little bit quicker. So That's the plan. Yeah. Find out. Find out. But it's a nice way of uh, getting around the map and seeing more of the map isn't it than working in one little clump of a corner I know I felt that with Hannah we never really saw the map other than the fields we worked on so yeah that's right yeah so hopefully we'll see a bit more yes indeed and then we were going to just take a look at the crop calendar and uh, obviously it's a Aussie specific crop calendar for the region but it's also well it's around the right way for me but a little bit backwards for you we've got spring in uh, September October November that's right so we plant it, plant January, in the summer spring. and uh, harvest in the winter yeah, summer or autumn, really, isn't it, mate? Yeah. For us. Um, and then there's those extra crops down the bottom, alfalfa, chickpeas, and lentils. So we're kind of in the planting window now. We've got no crops ready to harvest, so we're just into field prep and getting some things planted. That's right, and I quite like that about uh, doing it this way around, is that, you know, we're not starting with a harvest, which is tends to be what we always do, so quite like that. Yeah. Yep, starting from scratch, just with a very well-equipped uh, farm. Yep. Well, I'm not going to complain about that. Okay, so I think we said we'd start maybe field uh, 18 and 19. They need liming, they need ploughing, and they need planting. So we're, we yeah, should they probably do. get on with it. Yeah, it's not going to get done on its own, is it? So uh, we'll go grab a couple of tractors and get set up, get going. Sounds good. I'm trying to think of an Aussie way to tell you to go and get going, get working. <laughs> get to it, you flaming galah. <laughs> That'll do. That'll work. That'll do. <laughs> So there we go, folks. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It feels like a, it's been a bit of a while since we've uh, 
since we've done any multiplayer stuff, so uh, it's nice to be back. Um, what with FarmCon and then me going on holiday and ours being away as well, it's um, it has been a long time. So I don't know which tractor to take, actually. Um, I wonder if I'll take one of the uh, challenges. They are big lime spreaders, aren't they? And I can't be bothered really taking the Demco side quests off the the planting tractor, so I think I might take one of these I haven't used these for ages so it's nice to uh, nice to be playing with these as well there we go probably a bit overkill but we'll uh, we'll go for it anyway and like I said these Breedel uh, these Breedel spreaders are big so uh, we shouldn't struggle too much. There we go. I should turn my HUD on so I can see when I get close enough to hook it up. There we go. Now I believe we've got a fill-all tank here. I'm going to drive around the other way. Right, filling up. I did a bit of a loop round there to uh, make sure with the way that that uh, hopper opened, but uh, there we go. We shall burn through this as quickly as we can. Like Ark said, we've got precision farming, so uh, that means we need to uh, make sure we get our crops and all of our yields as high as possible to uh, make this as uh, lucrative as we can. Uh, Ark has gone for the seven. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Right, I'm full. I'm going to close up. Args will roll in behind and fill up as well. And then we'll head down to the field. So that's field 19 there. We are looking at right on the edge of the farm. And here is 18 next to us. These have had wheat in them last year before we had the farm. So uh, we're picking them up. Stubble. So we'll get this lime on. And then we'll uh, plough it under and get things ready for some planting. I don't know what we're going to put in them yet, but um, whether or not we put cotton in or we go for uh, one of the base crops, or even try, try one of the extra crops, we shall see. Now, I don't know how big the throw is on this, so this will be fun. It's not that wide, actually, is it? We're making a total hash of that. Let's get lined up. We'll do a headland under two. Nice wide space around the fields, actually, so you can turn nicely. We're running at 11 miles an hour. They do feel quite big fields, actually, for, for a standard size map. These do feel quite big. But we'll uh, batter on. We'll get this done. Like I said, we'll do the headlands and we'll do, uh, hopefully, a little bit of a tandem run and get uh, get this finished pretty quickly. Just checking my pH levels there. So we are in the green zone, which looks good. So we will be back shortly. Ags, if it's G. Go ahead, Ags. I could not for the life of me get that tractor, the John Deere, to unfold the uh, spread us off. Had to switch and I'm now in the Challenger. Oh really? I saw you unfolding the back of it. Yeah. But yeah, you couldn't get mm. the couldn't get the uh no, I the get lid open. open. So, yeah. A bit strange. Anyhow, I'm gonna start in the field next to you and uh, leave you on that one. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Alright, have fun. I'm at the top of the field and I've cleared twenty percent of my uh, tank already, so I think right. we might be doing a couple <laughs> of runs back to the yard. At least it's not too far to get back to it. This is true. This is true. The fields feel big, actually. Yeah, just getting out of them now, they do feel a little it's bit bigger uh, than I thought they might have been. It's one of those two ec or standard sized maps where it um, kind of makes it feel a bit bigger. Yeah, no, that's good. All right, enjoy. You too.
Right, we're making very good progress here. Args is over there. Uh, getting through his field pretty quickly as well. Um, I'm not sure if I'll have enough to get to the end of this field. Um, let's just check. 47%. Maybe, possibly will then. I think we're looking good here. Um, and we're getting some good coverage. So, um, yeah, we'll push on. We'll get this finished. And then we'll have a, a chat with Args when we get back to the yard. I think we'll maybe get... And whether or not we'll get the deep rippers on here or just the plough, we shall see. But everything needs ploughing as well. Uh, or we maybe go down and uh, together we can uh, put some lime on that third field over in the distance there. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, we'll push on for now. We'll get this done. And then we'll uh, we'll chat to Args. Right, we have just filled up. Typically, we did that thing where we got to the end of the field and had one more pass. And uh, not enough lime to do it. So we're going to quickly do that. Args is in the same boat as well. He's got two passes left on his field. And then we'll have a little chat whether or not we lime the third field or we jump into the ploughs and plough in these two fields. I don't know yet. We'll see. But we'll get over here. We'll get this last little pass done and then we are sorted. Um, look at the uh, texture that Hox has put on this map. So actually you get crop disruption on the stubble, which is really nice. It just adds another little dimension to things, which I really like. But here we are. Back to the little bit that we haven't done. We'll grab this and then uh, we'll take things from there. So, chat to you in a little bit. There we go. That is us done. So, turn the GPS off and turn around here. And we'll head down to the farm again. In fact, we'll just radio Args and see what he's up to. FSG to Args. Yellow, how are you? Good mate, I was just wondering uh, what you wanted to do, that's me just finished, so uh, will we jump into this third field? We might as well, while we're hooked up, might as well go get it done, we're not going to get to planting are we, so... Roger that, I'll head over now, get started. Alright, sounds good. Well, there's Argsy's field, he is just finishing off his last pass there, so... If I start doing a headland here, we've got... Um, Power lines going through this field, so that'll make things fun. I don't know if they've got collisions on them. It'll keep us on our toes, certainly with the GPS. But I will um, unfold things here. We'll give this a go. I have to say, I do love Hawks' maps. He's uh, he's really captured a bit of an Aussie vibe to this. Different types of trees, the ground textures being different. I think he's uh, he's really starting to own the. Uh, the Aussie map space really nicely, which is great. Great to see. Now, let's see if our GPS will give us a, a nice line and we're going to skip some. Nope, we're good. Excellent. Right. We will push on. There's Args just finishing as well. He's just going to jump on straight away and join us. And uh, we'll plough through this field. Not literally plough through it, because we're liming, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Right, here we go. Last full pass. There's a little strip there that we'll, one of us will need to get at some point. But um, got through this pretty quick, actually, with the two spreaders. Um, they are big fields, though. They really are. I think I'm just going to sneak past this pole as well without having to readjust, which is good. 
Um, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's a great map. This I'm really I'm really enjoying it. So oh, well, we're going to clip our uh, uh, ah so close to being good. got him. I thought I might just stealth past it. Not Sneak a chance. Past. There's no collisions on the trees, but they must be on the power poles. Yeah, power poles have definitely got collisions on them. There we go. Oh, it's picking up that for me. So, we are going to be done just here. Turn off GPS. Grab that last little bit there. He says as he completely misses it. I'll go back for it, though. Don't like leaving bits. Power off. And we are done. Right. Have a chat to Args when we're back in the yard. How much have I got left in the tank, actually? 63%. We did fill up once, but look at all of that green in the bottom left corner. That is nice to see. Right, I'm going to pop this in the shed. I don't see a pressure washer anywhere, so... I'm going to assume that Args hasn't got one. Which seems strange, but... I'll probably point one out when I, uh, when I tell him that I've just left this dirty in the shed, but we'll see. Right, there we go. Enough space for Arx to drop his in next to me as well, and then we'll just wait for the man himself. Here he comes. Give him a little bit of pressure. Make sure he reverses properly. I love a track tractor. You can make such subtle adjustments so quickly that it isn't that much of a chore, but we'll still put the pressure on him. Very nice. I like it. Look at that, he's even aligning them. It's the Argsy way. Nicely done, Args? Yeah. It's good to get all three of those fields done. It was worth it while we had everything hooked up and ready to go. Uh, but into some ploughing now. Yeah, now I did, did point out to the viewers just then that we've just parked two dirty spreaders in the shed because I couldn't see a pressure washer anywhere. No, there's, there's not actually. I was thinking about that too as we parked them. But uh, also as we parked them in there, I thought we've got a few other fields that still need lime on it yet. So, uh, you know. We're in Australia, we've got the irrigation scheme around here, water is a scarce resource, so we don't just want to go and use it. Uh, ad lib? Okay. I'll take that as a good excuse. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's right. go plough some fields. Plough, yeah. I was just having a look at the horsepower requirements, so we can put one of the 8Rs on the bigger plough. Um, funnily enough, it only needs 320 horsepower, and those two big rippers will only go behind the challenges, so... Um, I might go grab one of the eight R's and get a worker going on one of the fields and get the other two hooked up to these. All right, sounds good. Already go. I'll get hooked up and get some uh, GPS courses started. Oh yeah, good idea. Perfect. All right, let's get on with it. Right, so there we go. Argus is going to take the big plow here. I'll put it on the eight R, and I will get the big rippers going. Now we've said actually, while we've got um, while we've got to do some ploughing, we may not need to do it that often. It might just be the only time we do it, being uh, this time because the crops we've got to plant, cotton, canola, and some of the lentils and things like that, mean um, they probably don't need ploughing that often. This isn't an area of the country where uh, a lot of corn or if any corn is planted, so. Um, we may not need to do a lot of ploughing beyond this first session, so we shall see. But uh, let's get this into the field and uh, get a little GPS set up, get it running. Then Argus can join us once he's set up the, uh, the helper on the other field.
looks like we have got another pass down here. Maybe uh, there might be an odd pass in there as well, but it looks like we are nearly finished. Um, and the worker in the other field looks like he's got one headland still to do. He's just going around the top there. Um, so he's on the one he's on, and he's got another one to finish. So we'll finish before him, but that's two fields ploughed already. Very nice indeed. So uh, we'll crack on. We'll just get to the end of this field, get it finished, and uh, we'll have a little chat with Args there. Right, there we go. Perfect timing as the uh, helper in the other field starts his last lap. We are just about finished here. Couldn't have made that up if you'd tried. So we'll just roll over the end here. This is very neatly finished field, actually. Interesting, the row crop texture, rather than a ploughed texture, but it looks good. It's one of my favourite textures, actually. Really like that. But uh, there we go. We are done. So I will fold this as we're rolling along the road. And we'll park these at the edge. And we'll have a chat with the hugs. I think that's probably all we're going to manage to get in in this episode. So we'll make a plan for what we do next. We go, dropped off as Args arrives. I'll get out of his way. They are quite twitchy to reverse these, so... I'll pop this back in the shed. We'll leave it dirty for now. The pressure washer will arrive at some point, I'm sure. Not sure how long Args can manage without it. You are right, Copper? Yeah, mate. That was good was good. It's a good thing we're standing in here out of the sun. It's getting a bit warm out there. Um, you've left the tractor on, uh, the door on your tractor open though. Yeah, I just thought I would uh, maybe clean it out after I'd finished. All oh, right. I thought you might have left a smell or something. Can't wash the outside, so we'll tidy the inside. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, it's good to be back. Good to be uh, on a different map and trying something a bit different, but new. It is, isn't it? Yeah. No. And um, we were just chatting while we were ploughing there. We don't actually have a target yet or an aim for this series. I know we had the two million clear the debt in the last one, so we thought we might ask uh, the viewers what they think we should achieve in this series. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Just try and uh, give us a goal, a realistic goal, of course, but uh, maybe something we could target, whether it's, I don't know, production-based, whether it's a crop-based, I don't know. There's all sorts of different options, so... There are. Um, yeah. Throw your ideas down in the comments and uh, we'll see what comes. That's right, yeah. But uh, I suppose on that note, we'll uh, we'll call it for this one. Nice to be back, Ark. It's been over a month, I think, since we've done one of these. So. Oh, that's been well over a month. It was it be six weeks. It was, it was pre-me leaving to go to farm. Cool. Yeah, so uh, it is nice to be back. Mm. Missed our catch-ups. It has, yeah. Oh, it's good to be back and have a bit of a chat. Right, oh, you enjoy getting back into the swing of work and uh, we'll catch you again next week. Sounds good to me. Cheers, Ogs. All right, we'll catch you later. Cheers, buddy. Bye. Bye. Yes, there we go, folks. We are back. Hope you enjoyed this first episode. Um, a little bit different. A little bit of fun. And uh, I think a really nice map. So uh, there we go. We will be back next week with episode number two. But yes, if you uh, can think of a, a nice challenge for us to hit in this series, let us know in the comments below. But for now, from me, the Farmsome Guy, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Take care. Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>